They think they know what sparked the flames that badly damaged an Ankeny apartment complex. 24 units at the Walnut Ridge Apartments are now unlivable. New at 6, KCCI's Marcus McIntosh is live in Ankeny with the latest on this investigation. Marcus? Stacey and Steve, this morning we spoke with Ankeny Fire Marshal Craig Frazier who tells us he believes, or rather it looks like, a lit cigarette started the fire behind me forcing everyone in the building to find a new place to live. When we arrived Tuesday afternoon, flames were coming from the roof of the Walnut Ridge Apartments, the same site resident Hayden Reynolds saw when he came home moments after the fire started. He couldn't believe what was happening. First is the thought of like, man, that apartment's on fire, that sucks, but then it starts spreading and you're like, oh yeah, we're all in the same building. So, and then it just kept spreading. He lived in the apartment on the other side of the one where the fire started. He called his roommate only having time to tell her to grab the cat and get out. I had everything in that apartment. Like I, I had a computer that I'd built. I had pictures, a baby blanket. It's all, it's all gone. Reynolds moved in August 1st. He does not have renter's insurance. For now, he is staying with family and leaning on the Red Cross for help. Ankeny fire officials, including the fire marshal and the ATF, all investigating to determine the cause of the fire. Early indications are a cigarette sparked the blaze. Fire safe cigarettes don't go out. They stay continuing to burn. If there's a light breeze or anything, those cigarettes will continue to burn and can cause a fire. According to the apartment website, they were built in 1988. They have fire alarms, but no sprinkler system. Code does not have a retroactive division uh, saying that, you know, multifamily units or our occupancies need to be sprinkled. We encourage it. We, we recommend it. Now, moments before our 5 o'clock live shot this evening, we were approached by Kathy Byer. She owns the apartment. She tells us, as Steve mentioned earlier, 24 apartments and 50 people have been affected. Now, she says if you'd like to help the, apartment, the people who lived in the apartment, log on to AnkenyServiceCenter.org. Under the Donate tab, you scroll and find the Walnut Ridge Apartment Fire Assistance Fund. Live in Ankeny, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.